It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And this week on the Street of Dreams, the market took a breather and consolidated its gains from the previous week's run to all-time record highs, adopting a wait-and-see attitude with the start of the second quarter earnings season and to see if the Federal Reserve is going to cut interest rates. One week into earnings season, and the news has been promising, with 81% of companies reporting so far exceeding expectations. But the real catalyst for a rally would be a cut in interest rates by the Federal Reserve. According to market research firm Fundstat, every time the Fed has cut rates during an economic expansion, the market has gone up 100% of the time. It increased in value in the following three, six, nine, and 12 months. The medium gain over nine months was nearly 18%. Hypothetically, they said, if the same thing happened today, the S&P could be trading around 3,500 by next April. Wow. In every case going back to 1971, whenever the Federal Reserve began a new easing cycle while the economy was expanding, and this economy is still expanding, stocks were higher three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months later. No exceptions. Man, I'll tell you, I like those odds, but of course, there's no guarantee that the Fed will cut rates, and there's still many headwinds this market has to deal with, like slowing global growth and trade uncertainty. Two of the biggest reasons $8 trillion is still sitting on the sidelines and why most investors had the least amount of money invested in the stock market in over a decade. Perhaps a trade deal with China combined with a rate cut by the Fed will pull this money off the sidelines and into the market. Now that's a rally you don't want to miss. But trying to time the short-term moves of the market is difficult at best. And in my experience over the last 45 years, it always results in failure and tears. The smart strategy is to stay invested in your goal-based asset allocation so you don't miss out on the gains that come in a big, booming bull market. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my family's goals, to my dreams, to, with my values? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Simply give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 